Motorcycles, they're the soul of freedom on two wheels. But what happens when that soul is flawed? Today, we're revealing the 10 worst motorcycle engines of all time. These engines aren't just bad, they're catastrophic. From oil guzzlers to ticking time bombs, these failures will make you think twice before hitting the open road. Number 10, Harley-Davidson AMF, Shovelhead. Let's kick things off with a bike that nearly killed an American legend. The AMF era Shovelhead was like a bad tattoo Harley couldn't shake off. Plagued by oil leaks, overheating, and a camshaft that would rather break than bend, these engines turned the phrase, ride or die, into something literal. Reliability? Non-existent. If you didn't have a wrench in your back pocket, you weren't riding far. AMF's cost-cutting measures almost ran Harley into the ground, but thankfully the brand recovered. Still, this engine left a lot of bikers stranded. Number 9. Suzuki RE5 Rotary Engine Rotary engines sound cool, right? Not in the Suzuki RE5. This bike was supposed to be futuristic, but ended up being a mechanical nightmare. The rotary engine was quirky, but its thirst for oil and complex maintenance made it more of a garage queen than a road warrior. Overheating was a regular issue, and the fuel economy was like pouring gas straight on the ground. Riders found out quickly that the future wasn't so bright for rotary engines, at least not in motorcycles. Number 8. Kawasaki Z-1900's Chain Oiler System the Kawasaki Z1900 was a game changer in many ways, but the engine's built-in automatic chain oiler was a disaster. It sounded smart, keeping your chain lubed automatically, but in practice, it sprayed oil everywhere. Your chain, your back tire, your clothes, and sometimes even your buddy riding behind you would get hit. And guess what? That extra oil? It never made it to the chain. Riders quickly realized they had to disable this feature if they wanted to keep the rubber side down. Number 7. Ducati Desma Quattro, early 1990s. Ducati's Desma Quattro engines helped the brand dominate racing, but early versions from the 1990s had serious issues. These engines were the high-strung athletes of the motorcycle world, but that performance came at a price, maintenance valve adjustments every 6,000 miles, and if you skip them, say goodbye to your engine. The valves could go out of whack, pistons would play kissy face with them, and suddenly you're looking at a full rebuild. Ducati loyalists may forgive it, but for many, it was like dating someone who's beautiful but impossible to live with. Number 6. Honda CX500 Plastic Maggot The Honda CX500 was dubbed the Plastic Maggot, and for good reason. This engine had as much personality as a blender. While it was water-cooled and shaft-driven, features that should have made it solid, it was also prone to stator failures and cam chain tensioner problems. You'd hear a metallic clattering sound, and you knew it was about to get expensive. The bike was aimed at beginners, but the engine's issues made it a costly lesson for many new riders. Number 5. Yamaha TX 750 Parallel Twin Yamaha took a big swing with the TX750, but it was a strikeout. This engine had a penchant for overheating, oil foaming, and crankshaft issues. Imagine riding down the highway and suddenly your oil looks like a cappuccino. Not a great feeling, right? The balance shaft, designed to reduce vibration, would fail, leaving you with an engine that shook like a paint mixer. Yamaha quickly tried to fix it, but by then, the damage was done. This bike is now a rare sight and that's probably for the best. Number 4. Buell 1125R Rotax V-Twin The Buell 1125R was supposed to be Eric Buell's crowning achievement, but instead, it became a cautionary tale. Powered by a Rotax V-Twin, this engine had great performance on paper, but suffered from overheating, clutch failures, and electrical gremlins that would leave you stranded. Buell's dream of an American superbike quickly turned into a nightmare for owners. The bike was hot, not in a good way, and even the most die-hard Buell fans struggled to keep it on the road. Number 3. Triumph 1200 Trophy Triple Triumph's 1200 Trophy was a sport touring beast, but its triple engine had a fatal flaw, the gearbox. Specifically, the third gear loved to self-destruct. 
Imagine cruising at highway speeds and hearing a loud bang. Yep, that was your transmission giving up. The engine itself was solid, but the gearbox issues were so widespread that many owners faced costly repairs. Triumph later fixed the issue, but not before this engine earned a reputation for being unreliable on long trips. Number 2. BMW F650 Single BMW usually hits it out of the park with their engineering, but the F650's single-cylinder engine was a swing and a miss. It vibrated like a jackhammer, had stalling issues, and wasn't as reliable as you'd expect from the Bavarians. Owners reported fuel injection problems, electrical issues, and enough vibes to numb your hands after an hour of riding. BMW eventually addressed some of these problems, but the F650 engine remains a black mark on their otherwise stellar reputation. Number 1. Harley-Davidson V-Rod Revolution Engine Early Models Harley-Davidson's partnership with Porsche to create the Revolution V-Twin engine for the V-Rod was meant to modernize the brand with a high-revving, liquid-cooled engine. But early models were plagued with issues, making it more of a mechanical headache than a revolution. The first problem was fuel pump failure, leaving many riders stranded unexpectedly. The cam chain tensioner was another weak link, prone to premature wear and often leading to catastrophic engine failure if ignored. Overheating was a common issue, with the cooling system unable to keep up, especially in traffic or hot climates. While it boasted plenty of power, the early V-Rod's reliability issues turned off both Harley purists and performance enthusiasts. Eventually, Harley addressed these problems in later models, but the damage to the engine's reputation was done. What was supposed to be a game-changer became one of the most frustrating engines in Harley's history. And there you have it, the 10 worst motorcycle engines of all time. These engines promised the thrill of the open road but left riders stranded, staring at the engine in frustration or waiting for a tow, much like being stuck on the side of the highway with a blown head gasket on a truck engine or a car engine that's gulping oil faster than gas. They sounded like power-packed beasts in the brochures, but in reality, they were more like mechanical time bombs, riddled with design flaws and reliability issues that left owners with empty wallets and broken dreams. These engines are the motorcycle equivalent of those notorious car engines that had lifter problems or truck engines with failed turbos, promising great performance but delivering costly repairs instead. They revved high in theory, but fell flat when it mattered most, leaving you more focused on repair bills than riding. So, next time you're hunting for a used bike, just like when shopping for a truck or car, do your homework. Some machines may have the looks and the specs, but beneath the surface, they're hiding ticking time bombs of mechanical failure. Not all motorcycles, just like cars and trucks, are built to go the distance, and some engines are better off in the scrapyard than under your saddle. Have you ever had the misfortune of owning one of these bikes? Maybe you've encountered an engine even worse? We'd love to hear your worst engine horror stories. Drop them in the comments and let's compare notes on which engine let you down the hardest.